Hello, these days I finally received the Seastar S50 telescope that I ordered directly from the manufacturer. From the moment of ordering until today when it was delivered, 10 days passed, including the time for custom procedures. Shipping is down via DHL mail, the, dev the device is well packed and arrived without any damage. The hard styrofoam box contains the Sistar S50 telescope, a small but robust tripod, solar filter, a battery char charging cable, and brief instructions. Even at first glance it is clear that uh, it is a solidly made device which is expected for a device of that price class. However, according to the possibilities offered, this, pre this price is not only justified but also relatively low. Honestly, my experience in the field of astrophotography is almost no non-existing uh, with the exception of a few semi-successful attempts to photograph Saturn, Jupiter and the Orion Nebula, but also excellent photos and videos of the Moon. Namely, I own uh, several telescopes, the largest of which is the Dobsonian type with a parabolic mirror with an aperture of 11 inches and I have quite a lot experience in observing deep sky objects. I did my photography attempts, unfortunately only with a cell phone, on my go-to MEADE ETX-70 telescope. For those reasons, I think I can give a real review as a represent representative of a novice astrophotographer. Now, first after charging the telescope battery, we need to download and install the sister application on our smartphone. There are versions for Android as well as iOS operating system. After starting the application, we need to connect the telescope with Bluetooth connection and then to the Wi-Fi access point contained in the telescope. Powering on, ready to connect. First we need to update firmware, if it have a new firmware. Updating firmware. Now everything is ready for first observation. 
telescope is connected. One of the basic adjustments for a telescope to work well is leveling. At the beginning this procedure is a little more difficult but with time the leveling is done in less than a minute. Please level your sea star. To level well the two green circles need to overlap as much as possible. The overlap factor is displayed as a single decimal number and for sufficient accuracy it is recommended that it be less than 0 0.5. We can simpl simplify this pr procedure a lot. Uh, if we get a tripod level adjuster like this, the price of which is about $30. If you want a 3D printer, you can make several useful accessories for which, uh, for which you can find STL files on the Thingiverse website. Now we can start observing. In the C-Star application, we first determine which type of, of object we want to observe. Uh, we can choose between stargazing, solar, lunar, planetary and scenery mode. The program also suggests objects that are most suitable for photography in the given period. We can also choose the Sky Atlas option where we manually select an area of the sky. Here we can also select one of the many objects that are best for observation at the moment. Tonight best. When we select an object, uh, for example one of the proposed ones, we press go gazing and the telescope is automatically directed to that object. When the object is found, the telescope verbally informs us that the object is centered, at which point we need to press autofocus and photography can begin. The duration of photography depends on the object and can last from a minimum of 10 seconds for very bright objects up to several hours for hours for darker objects. The Sistar S50 comes with a built-in 64GB eMMC storage providing approximately 50GB of available space for data storage. We can transfer the images stored in the Sistar using a USB cable or through a Wi-Fi wi network. The simplest and fastest way is to transfer the data directly to the PC via USB cable. However, if we connect the telescope in this way on a PC with Windows operating system, a message will appear that the disk is not formatted and so on and we will not be able to see the data. The reason for that is that the disk is factory formatted with Unix data, data system, so uh, we can only view it on Linux or Mac operating system. For that reason I have installed a Linux reader application for Windows operating system that you can freely download on a given link. Now we can view and transfer the data from the telescope on a Windows PC. This is the telescope disk. This is my works folder and all data 
on this folder. And we can transfer this file to, to, our, to our computer. In the following, I will present you several objects that I recorded and photographed immediately after I received the telescope and now I'm waiting for better weather conditions. Let me emphasize that the objects you see are taken directly from the telescope and have not been processed in any specialized program for that purpose. Only some of the images have been minimally edited in the paint.net application, which is free and serves in general for photo processing and is not specifically intended for astrophotography. And finally, I will give a brief conclusion from my point of view, bearing in mind that I have almost no prior experience in astrophotography. The biggest advantages of this device are the small dimensions, the extremely short time for preparing for photography, the huge base of currently visible objects that we can choose directly on the smartphone, and of course, finally, the excellent photos especially of deep sky objects that we can take even from a balcony in places with a high light pollution. I say excellent photos in terms of invested funds, the time spent on their production as well as the fact, fact that this requires almost no previous experience in this field. Of course, experienced astrophotographers see this device as an amateur toy, but also competition because until recently this field was reserved only for a small number of enthusiasts who had expensive equipment, a lot of knowledge, patience and time. 